Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yeah, more transfer news as usual. Yeah, we're, we're a little step or two behind everybody else, but it's not a it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. But we're going to get into this one on the other side of this music intro. Yes, welcome back again to Canon Fodder TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. It's a marathon, not a sprint, a fast race, but uh, we are here. We are actually live and direct from the studios, at least the kitchen here in our studios over here in North London. But um, yeah, we've got, we've got, I've added a little bit more news on top from, from the other segment. Uh, it's, this one's actually incredible, absolutely incredible. But we've got, actually, I did say we're going to start some left field information, which is not football related. So look out for that, maybe midway through the show. But um, what I would like you to do is just click the like button. It says it's somewhere down here. Click the like button. Uh, don't bother to subscribe. Um, and, and the world should be your oyster. Also, I'd like you to come to the live chat. Um, we've had some problems with the live chat not appearing here, but we're hoping with the slight upgrade, it might start appearing. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure what I did that for. But you know what? Uh, let's get into uh, the news uh, segment, segment segments of uh, today. Uh, where are we? So I just need to find where, where are we? Oh, here we are. Here we are. So first up, this gentleman here has signed a contract extension. And you know what? Let me remove this out of the way. Let me remove this out of the way. So yeah, so contract signed. William Saliba contract signed finally. William Saliba has, has become one of Arsenal's most important players under manager Mikko Arteta. Uh, and we have now tied down a 22 year into to 2027. Asiliba shone for the Gunners last season and has eight caps for the French uh, senior squad. Uh, Arsenal have now tied him down. Uh, so it's a four-year four year, uh, contract extension deal. The likes of Bakai Saka, Martin and Aaron Ramsdale have also signed their contracts. Now, he did do a video, as I understand it. and he um, I didn't look at all of it. I looked some some parts. He does say, I was born in North Paris but became a man in North London. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he said in a video uh, for Arsenal fans on the club's Twitter account. So, like I said this morning, uh, Willem Saliba, finally, finally signing your contract. And I tell you what, for me, I don't know about you lot, but for me, he was the most important signing to have gotten done, if you want to understand what I mean. I mean, you know, we're in transfer, you know, silly season. But the fact that we've got him to sign a contract it means the world i'm sure to a lot of arsenal fans you know he got loaned out lost the parent and then they loaned out again and eventually he made his uh the, i mean the season last season he was like oh my, phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so william saliba well done well done finally getting to sign the contract and by the way you remember he was asking for more money it, he was well within his rights to ask for money if Arsenal didn't want to pay up then they knew what they had to do, but they agreed. They agreed to uh, those monies and, and many, many zeros. I wish I had those zeros at the end of my, my weekly paycheck. Anyhow, the second news segment. Um, who shall we talk about now? I'm just trying to remind myself. Ah, huh? oh, yes, yes, yes. There was a, a, something about a friendly. We played a friendly against Watford. I tell you, I had no idea. It just shows you how much I've been clued up, at least on Arsenal activity. But, um, yeah, Marquinhos was apparently on target in the draw. Uh, Kick-off uh, our preparations for the 23-24 season with a draw with uh, training ground neighbours Watford at London Coney on Saturday. Uh, thanks to a second-half equaliser from Marquinhos. Looking quite uh, serious in the picture there, the photo. Uh, Mikko Arteta named a strong uh, starting eleven, uh, consisting of players who return to training at the start of the week before turning to his youth players for the second half. 
the website reported that uh, we had an early chance to take the lead in the second, uh, sorry, in behind the cl closed doors friendly, but a dangerous cross into the box from Reese Nelson ended up in the hands of Watford keeper Daniel Backman. The visitors uh, responded, pressing high up the pitch, but 17-year-old midfielder Myers Lewis Skelly was uh, positioned well to halt Ken Summers burst into the box. But yeah, again, I was I was unaware that we had we had a, a friend a friendly preseason friendly. Oh, it would make sense, but I, I was none the wiser, none the wiser. Yeah, that's a quick one. That's a quick one. Uh, next one might might surprise everyone, possibly. Um, Balogun. Chelsea are reportedly held talks with representatives of Florian Balogun over a move to Stamford Bridge. I kid you not, the striker returned to Arsenal following a successful season long loan at French club Reims, netting 21 goals. And according to another platform, Balogun's representatives have touched base. They've only touched base with Chelsea over a switch to West London. The Blues now appear to be leading uh, the chase for United uh, States International, who has attracted attention from a host of European clubs, including AC Milan, Inter Milan, along with Marseille, um, Monaco and RB Leipzig. Yeah, all track, tracking the 20 euros uh, progression. Um, now, Balogun has said, you know, uh, what I can say is I, I I'm definitely won't be going out on loan. So I think the writing is on the wall. We have done a poll. Uh, would you like to see Balogun leave? Or are you happy if he stayed and challenge Gabriel Jesus for that striker spot there? I don't know, man. What are you thinking? Well, my thinking, Balogun's got to stay, man. He's got to stay. I've not seen enough of him in the Premier League. Yeah, he's got to stay. But what do you think? You can vote. Yeah, we've done the latest poll. Yeah, so I'll get in, into that in a moment. Uh, let, let's read on. Let's read on. So uh, the next news segment um, is in regards to uh, this youngster here. Um, I have not done any uh, content, pre recorded videos just yet. Uh, I think for the best part of a week, actually. Yeah. Have I been lazy? No, I've just been taking my time. Again, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Now, Arsenal are, apparently are linked with another midfielder. Yeah. Can you believe this? Uh, Aurelian uh, Tokwameni. Uh, the Guns are preparing a £77.4 million bid. Really? Okay. According to Defence uh, Central. Uh, I mean, English is central, central defender or central defence. Um, I have not done the video, and um, yeah, you guys are just going to have to wait on that one. I've got other more important things to be thinking about. I'm sorry about that one. And the last news segment. Hmm. Gabriel Jesus. Now, apparently, Gabriel Jesus um, allegedly um, has expressed his dissatisfaction with the English media. Now, apparently, we understand that the former Man City uh, star feels that he's not receiving the credit he deserves for his performance. The Brazilian uh, uh, striker, who was uh, instrumental in Mikel Arteta's side at the beginning of last season, believes that his contributions have been overlooked. I mean, I, I, you know, maybe I should have probably done more homework <laughs> before talking about this. But um, yeah, Jesus showcases exceptional um, skills and goal-scoring prowess before an unfortunate injury halted his uh, progress. And uh, despite his uh, impressive performance, the striker feels disrespected, believing pundits, media outlets, and even a section of Arsenal's own fans have been unfairly critical. Oh, wow. So Jesus suspects that a perceived bias towards Man City with the media circles uh, may be a contributing factor uh, that success last, uh, last season meaning that his own achievements have been ignored. I mean, oh, you know what? Let me just say that this has come from. Uh, let's have a look here. This has come from uh, football transfers. This, yeah. Um, it's, it's this. I don't know what to say about this one. Uh, you know, I don't know. What's, what's your thoughts? Do you think we have undervalued his performance? I, th I think we have. I think we have valued his performance. But much like all the players. Nobody gets a free pass. Well, at least they are not on Canafoy TV. If the player is not performing, doesn't matter who you are, how much you're on, or whether you're a profile, marquee signing, or low uh, signing, you still got to perform. 
But the fact that he's saying there that he feels disrespected, I don't know, is he can only say what he's feeling, isn't it? Now, whether it's fact that you and I have disrespected him, I don't think that is true. Well, no, I know it's not true. I've not disrespected him. So, hmm, that's, that's, that's an interesting one. So that's the one that I kind of looked up there as a last add-on to the show that we did earlier. And, um, yeah, that's, that hasn't, hasn't annoyed me. <laughs> no, it hasn't annoyed me. I just, yeah, just... Anyway, anyway. So, like I said, are these all new segments coming running on Canon Foy TV? Uh, you can have your say if you come into the live chat. Now, usually we have the live chat appearing on the side there, but for some reason it's not appearing. So I'm not sure what I've done. I must have clicked or touched the button to, yeah, disable the the, the live chat that we would usually see to my to my my right to my right. Not, yeah, this is my left here, but it's my right, isn't it? So I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll still highlight the uh, the the, uh, the chats there when I is ready, and I'm not ready just yet. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into our Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments so far, any tweets, uh, just to tell us that uh, oh, that we are live. And wait, winks, 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 Giza. It's been a long time. Been a long time, my friend has retweeted that uh, we are live. Thank you uh, for that, my friend. And um, nothing nothing else apart from um, that, which is okay. It's all right. Uh, let's do this. Let's go back up here. And I'm not going to go into the live chat just yet. I'm going to check out the poll. Now, the poll question that we did yesterday, I thought it was like two days ago, it was yesterday, was in regards to this gentleman here. Uh, following Balogun. Um, what's going on? What's going on? I'm still trying to get used to this. Mm. Yeah. So the poll question is, uh, do we keep following Balogun? Do we keep him? It's just a straight yes or no. Again, a poll that we did yesterday. We have received 1,200 votes, 11 comments, 23 likes. I'm liking the numbers. I'm liking the numbers. So again, the question is, do we keep Florian Balogun? Yes or no? Well, I can tell you that 23% say, no, no, don't keep him. Don't keep him. Sell him. I'm thinking, are you crazy? Are you crazy? And of course, do the math. 77% say, no, we, 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 uh, we got it. We got to keep him. We got to keep him. Got to keep him, man. New players, you know, compete in all the positions, man. Nobody gets a freebie over here. Nobody. I don't care who you is or who you are or where you are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Right. Now, before before I go into the live chat and see who has joined us on this show over here, I did say I'm going to start doing some left left field content. I did say it, didn't I? I said we'll probably leave it until Friday. But I started doing it now. <laughs> We're going to start to do it now. Um, so have a look at this video, and I will let you know something towards the end of this video. Oh. What was that? What was that? What was that? Hi, my name is Alex, and as you can see, I earned £40 in cryptocurrency passively. Now, if you want to know how I did it, send me an email at arsworldpublic1 at gmail.com 
or alternatively send me a whatsapp message at 447949360741 and maybe you too can earn cryptocurrency passively whilst you eat sleep drink have a shower so there you go <laughs> Uh, dear. So yeah, so the message is there uh, that I did earn uh, 40 pounds in cryptocurrency passively whilst I was sleeping. So if you want to know how Alex did it, just send me a message, uh, maybe send me an email, ask for a public one at gmail.com or send me a WhatsApp message at uh, 4479493607411 and I will show you how I earn that cryptocurrency rewards whilst I was sleeping. I kid you not. Right, so now we can go into the live chat and uh, see who has joined us on this. I, I don't know what's, what's happening here. What's happening? I can't. This doesn't show. It doesn't show. Oh, my goodness. Anyhow, here we go. Uh, let's go, Alex is calling. Let's go. We've, we've, we've gone for the last... How many minutes? <laughs> 17 minutes. <laughs> Good afternoon to you, Colin. Uh, we are all, uh, what was the word? Cutty cutters. Uh, hit that like button and give us some comments here. Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Please, don't be shy. I looked, uh, he was uh, <coughs> missing uh, for half the season. Uh, get on with it. <laughs> Got in. Uh, dear Mr. Achievements, uh, let the achievements uh, speak for themselves. I just, I tell you what, Colin, and uh, you know, you who are watching, what I didn't like to see from Gabba Jesus, and here's my criticism, main criticism of Gabba Jesus, this, towards, I think maybe the last four or five games, hadn't scored, I think it may have been three or four games, Obviously getting frustrated, you know, was looking to the referee to give the foul, beating the ground, thinking, just get up off your feet, stop feigning injury and get on with it. I just did not like to see him doing that. Just get on with it. Anyhow, anyhow, that's that's just my main, you know, uh, angst with Gabbage just towards, not, or it wasn't even the last quarter, it's just like the last four to five games, again, just falling over, being foul, you know, not getting... You know, response from the ref. I'm not even going to talk about his goal ratio just yet, unless you want me to. But that's the only thing that I really annoyed about. Disrespected? Gabba Jesus, come on. Come on. Uh, Amit, good afternoon to you. I hope you're well. Uh, I thought he said he felt disrespected by Pep. No, no. He said he felt disrespected by the English media, certain outlets, and maybe sections of our fan base hmm. uh, would you still have Emmy Martinez over Ramsdale no I wouldn't no I wouldn't troublemaker uh, nothing much uh, from the training uh, camp in Germany as it only shows uh, various players in different photos thank you for that uh, if Balogun uh, wants to go I have no problem telling him, but if it's to Chelsea, oh, then we, we, we need uh, that Havertz uh, money uh, back at least. Ah, what? why is that? Why is that? But it's true, isn't it? I mean, I've heard that report there that he might, well, I mean, his representative have been spoken to, but I'm thinking, is he really going to go to Chelsea? Who knows? Who knows? It's all right that we have our, we have their players who are on the, you know, the tail end of their careers or who have not come up to scratch for three seasons. But time for us to set our players to them. Are they going to want to buy Balogun? Hmm. 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 Anyway. Uh, World Cup winner uh, over unable to stop. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, I would, Amit. Oh, oh. As, what do you think about uh, Levi Cobo uh, as a centre back? Uh, his, uh, prom his passing uh, so good and he's strong at the back. Well, I, for me, I think it's, a, it's. We're not going there, are we? 
we're not going there because we're on the verge of announcing officially you're in Timber. Yeah, just shuffle the pack over. I mean, as I understand, you know, Timber can play as a centre back. The shortest centre back in the Premier League, I don't care about that. I don't care about it. If you use this and you're positioning, again, no matter how high or how tall you are or how short you are, that shouldn't matter. But yeah, for me, Levi, I haven't seen too much of him, to be honest, as well. But I, what do you think about him? I throw it right back at you. What do you think about him? Yeah, uh, I'm it. A troublemaker. <laughs> Good evening, Alex. Lynn, Lynn, where have you been, Lynn? Where have you been? It's been such a long time. Good to see you back. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, Colin, I agree. Well, how come the screen's gone? Oh, I know what's happened here. I know what's happened. Uh, Colin, I agree. Uh, we should have uh, kept him at the club. Uh, well, um, we did get uh, Declan Rice. So what are your other predictions? Uh, yeah, so for, for my prediction, or are you talking about somebody else? For my other prediction, I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say, Lynn. You naughty person, you. Um, other predictions. Here, here's one here for you, Lynn. We're not going to be winning the Premier League next season. That's my prediction. And I was proven right last season. What's your prediction, Lynn? Naughty. Very, very naughty. Uh, I wouldn't uh, be surprised, uh, Alex, uh, the amount of uh, trading uh, that we've done with Chelsea over the years. Listen, when you strip everything back, and I'm just talking about, you know, Florent Balogun, he wants to play. He's young. He's hungry. He wants to play. And if you're telling me, all right, that we're not going to have anyone competing for those positions there, so left mid, uh, left wing attack, right wing attack, you know, a central, uh, a number nine, that there's not going to be any competition for those places there. Listen, we're on a starter to nowhere. Why not have a floor in Balogun? Because we're not about to go to the market and buy an Ivan Tony, are we? So have the youngster there. Like a little whippersnapper, snap out of those players' ankles. Keep them on their toes. But that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I want it to happen. Balogun to stay, that is. But it's not going to happen. I'm very surprised uh, the club splash uh, that cash in. Anyway, uh, Mario, good evening. Good evening. I hope you're well, my friend. I hope you're well. <laughs> uh, would you agree, Alex, that I know uh, this fake Rian Bappi, uh, however? Oh, yeah, I, I agree. I, I completely agree. Uh, what a great uh, place. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm reading this properly. Sorry. Uh, what a great oh, piece of uh, PR to give us a lift to draw quality players. Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> I, I mean, Lynn, if the parameters were right, let's just kind of frame it this way, all right? And I, I know that this probably is not going to happen. But if the parameters were right, that Mbappe said, I want to come to Arsenal. You know, I've spoken to Mikko, I said he's such a wonderful manager, but I want to come to Arsenal. How would you feel about having a Kylian Mbappe in this team? Would you think he might destabilise what Mikko Arteta has built? Or do you think he'll be literally the icing on the cake? Hmm. I thought I'd frame it that way. Uh, destroy uh, the waves scale and a massive attitude to a manager for, Mikko, for Arteta. Yeah. And I played that comment uh, was about, oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of... I kind of thought that's what it was. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Lynn says, uh, I would say, Alex, we need to bring in more experience uh, to close the gap and buy a number nine because when our players are, bur are burnt out, uh, another scoring... Uh, uh... So, so can, can, can we not have Florent Balogun? Because, you, you know, we... we We've said that before, that the team are inexperienced, they've not been in the situation before, you know, going for the Premier League, we need more experience. 
So, but we had that last season. We had the Jorginhos, the Thomas Partys, the Gabba Jesuses, the Zinchenkos. These players are, they, they've won stuff. They've won stuff. A Granit Xhaka, experienced player, so we've had that. So I, and, and I'm, I'm challenging you because you're saying that we need, maybe we need more experience, but why not have an extra element of young, maybe he's got a bit of attitude and it might be a challenge for Arteta to manage a player of attitude because we've seen what happened before when a player of attitude challenges Mikko Arteta, somebody doesn't know how to manage a person who has attitude. So why not have a foreign Balogun who has attitude but can score goals and can compete and challenge those other players for that position there? Maybe he could be the player, not uh, a Kylian Mbappe. I'm just saying. Oops, sorry. Uh, I saw him at the under 21s and he was a really good. Uh, England did uh, not let in a single goal. Yeah, yeah, with him uh, at the back. Uh, so he would be an upgrade on Rob Holding. Plus he's a. Uh, oh, right. Okay. All right. You got me there, Amit. <laughs> you got me there. Uh, all right. I wouldn't want Mbappe. Okay. All right. All right. Just thought I'd throw, you know, throw it out there because you never know. Some people do. Some people don't. Uh, Caicedo, I believe, is worth a splash. Honestly, I think uh, Rice is going to be under immense pressure because of the £105 million. Do you know what, Colin? I, I, actually, I said that before. You know, as much as players, again, want to focus on playing football, there's so many other distractions away from football. You know, you've got to do promotions, you've got to do videos, you know, go be, do things for your sponsors, you've got to do things for your... There's so many distractions. And on top of that, now, being the new record signed at £105 million, I joked about it two weeks ago, but I'm sure Nico Pepe must be uh, have a huge sigh of relief. Ah, I'm no longer the record sign at Arsenal. Now I can concentrate and they can leave me alone. Now it's for somebody else. Declan Rice is going to be under immense pressure. If you thought London Stadium, West Ham, in the captain, uh, you know, wasn't didn't come originally from, from, from West Ham. He was a product of Chelsea. Declan Rice was. Declan Rice were. And now he's coming to still one of the biggest clubs in the country, Arsenal. And then on top of that, £105 million price tag. People are going to want to see this player, I don't know, walk on water? Fly at that price? I mean, show me a trick or something for 105 million pounds. What's your trick? Oh, I can defend in the midfield. We're going to need a lot more than that, Declan. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more than that, my friend. Ah, oh, my goodness. All right, all right. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, from Badigan, uh, in my opinion, I should replace Eddie. Eddie uh, was a, a serviceable. <laughs> but we are looking uh, to upgrade and Balogun uh, season uh, is higher in my opinion. I just think that we should have Balogun there in the mix. And let's just see what the other players think. I mean, if we've got a Gabba Jesus complaining about the media, he's not a record signing. Was, was he a marquee signing? Yeah. He's won the Premier League previously, not of Arsenal. Not a World Cup winner? No. So if he's complaining about being disrespected, then maybe, again, have a Balogun in there. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Right. Uh, oops, what have I done here? Yeah. Oh, dear. This, this thing is not working. It's not working. <laughs> the chat's not working. Uh, my goodness. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What have I done there? I think I've messed it up now. <laughs> I think I've messed it up. Yikes. Yikes. Uh... <laughs> but perhaps a, with a, there's a guy with an attitude. Okay. Uh, I think all players have got attitudes, though, don't they? I believe. Uh, oh, Rice, a transfer fee. I think it's different where you are signing a midfielder uh, as opposed to a winger or a striker who is expected to provide goals 
uh, and assist. Rises just uh, has to r run. <laughs> he has to run about. <laughs> uh, I think some people might be upset about that. <laughs> <On top. laughs> I wanted to fly, man. <laughs> With that amount of money, hundred five million pounds. It's just going to be running around. When then, then if we're going to have someone just to run around, then we've got Mohamed El Nenny who can just run around and that scores El Nenny blunderbuster of goals. <laughs> that was just so funny. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Alex uh, Tukwemi uh, is coming home to Arsenal. Uh, are you excited about it? Uh, yes, but I've, I've, I've yet to do my video. I did speak about him just at the beginning of the show, reported £77.2 million. Is that true? I need to do more research, man, before I do any more videos. Actually, before I record a video about him. Yes, £77.2 million. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. <clears throat> it's dragging on now. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you make me laugh, man. He's just got to run around. For 105 million pounds. He's just running around. I want to be happy about that, man. <laughs> I just hope people aren't expecting goals and this from him. <laughs> and the odd sprint. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got to laugh, man. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me put this back up there. Uh, uh, have you seen uh, the link of uh, Kyle Walker coming to Arsenal? No, I haven't. You know, like I, I said, Lynn, I for the last what two, three weeks, I haven't done any content, recording the content for 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 Sundays. Why is that? Because yeah, I, I'm not trying to catch up. I'm not even trying to lead the field with all the content creators, at least creating you know content about arsenal so i've not i've, I've not what what, what, is, what is the what is the link to arsenal oh dearie me man uh, anyway uh peter have been uh, linked uh, with brighton for 18 to 20 million pounds oh sorry uh, ashley uh good evening to you fella i hope you're keeping well i know it's been a while you since you've been in the live chat uh i haven't even read that yeah patino try patino that's funny i was thinking about him the other was it yesterday yeah. Who knows? Actually, what's your source? I don't mean what's your, you know, your source from your food, but we, we know where did you get that news link? Where, where, where did you read that? Because I've not, I've not heard that at all. I've not heard that at all. Right. So let's take a little lull uh, in reading the live comments here, and just remind everyone that you're going to see a lot more of this, but Monday to Fridays. Yes, yes, Monday to Fridays. The Easy Talk, which is the flagship show, that's taken a bit of a back seat because we are in the midst of transfer, aka also known as silly season. So when the transfer window has closed, you will see the return of the Easy Talk. And um, I've got to maybe think about having maybe one or two guests uh, on because I can't keep doing this on my own. It's a little bit lonely out here. But um, yeah. Also, I did re release the video uh, where I spoke about I've earned £40 in cryptocurrency passively whilst I was sleeping. I will show that video again uh, before we end this one here. And on Friday, we'll start to do the Canon Foy TV Awards. Yes, you'll see the nominees. You will be able to vote for your favourite segment on Canon for the TV. That'll be rolling out this Friday. And um, that's that's it, man. That 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 is it. Let's get back into the live chat. Uh, 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 Amit says, uh, "I wish Harry Kane uh, runs down his contract and does a soul Campbell and joins Arsenal." Would we want that? I mean, it, a few years ago, but a soul Campbell was in his twenties, wasn't he? I don't know if I'd want that. I don't think I'd want that. <clears throat> That's a good one. <laughs> then, you know, what, actually, I, I, I will take you up on that. I'll definitely take you up on that uh, again, because I've got I've got two more weeks. No, I've got a week and a half worth 
of my job before my school uh, closes for um, the six week summer holidays. And then I've got uh, my holiday that starts on the 23rd, sorry, 22nd, 22nd, can't remember now. It's straight after the school finishes, uh, going for away for 10 days. So we can start to do that. Well, again, I'll, I'll call maybe one or two of our content creators and contributors on Camera 40 TV in. But actually, definitely, I'll, I will, I will, yeah, join me, man. Join me. We'll have a laugh. <laughs> Heinz, that's a funny one. That's really, really funny. <laughs> Uh, I would cringe watching Kane in an Arsenal shirt. Uh, it would uh, hurt my soul. I, I... No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't 29. He was probably in his, in his prime. I'd probably say maybe 26. 25, 26. Because when he started playing for Demo down the road, he was a youngster. Spent a few years there. I think it was maybe 25 or 26. Can, can someone do some 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 research for me? Um, yeah, I don't think he, he wasn't twenty nine. He wasn't twenty nine. <laughs> he would have. I would cringe if I saw. I mean, I'm, I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to see Harry Kane play for Arsenal. Nah, maybe if he was a lot younger, but yes, yes. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. He wasn't twenty nine. He was twenty five, twenty six when he when he came to the sh the shores. The beaches of uh, Arsenal, the red and white of Arsenal. All right, uh, a few more minutes and then we're going to wrap up this one. Let me go back um, into our Twitter feed and see if there's been any other retweets. Any retweets? No retweets, me thinks. Uh... Right. Okay, I've just got to respond to something very, very quickly. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll, do it. I'll do it when we finish. <clears throat> uh, don't want uh, personal uh, accolades. Uh, no, 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 to, to Harry Kane. I, I completely agree with that. Nuremberg. Yeah, we'll play Nuremberg on Thursday. Come on, you guys. Um, did we not play Nuremberg a couple of seasons ago in the preseason? I'm sure we did. We've gone over there again to face Nuremberg FC. <laughs> oh, dare me all right okay uh i would like to see and Mari and uh miles uh, skelly uh, do well so would i so would i yeah man due time man due time all right okay um so what's up in here yeah, sorry about that. What happened there? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking, yeah, we played, we played Nuremberg. I mean, are we short on opponents? I mean, I mean, we could put like a Can for TV eleven together to face Arsenal. We might just win. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> We might just win. Canal 4 TV is starting 11. The only 11 plays uh, Arsenal's 11. Strongest 11. And what happens? Giant killers. Arsenal beat Canal 4 TV 11. <laughs> All right. Um, so before we wrap up this show, um, again, I've been um, just talking for the longest time about doing some left field content. Uh, I do have other businesses running. And this might appeal to you, it might not appeal to you, but you never know. There's always somebody. There is a saying that if you build it, people will come. Have a look at this. Oh. What was that? What was that? What was that? Hi, my name is Alex, and as you can see, 
I earned £40 in cryptocurrency passively. Now, if you want to know how I did it, send me an email at arsrealpublic1 at gmail.com or alternatively, send me a WhatsApp message at 447949 three six zero seven four one and maybe you too can earn cryptocurrency passively whilst you eat sleep drink have a sh so there, there you have it yeah yeah earning rewards while sleeping passively if you are interested again send me an email arsenal republic one at gmail.com or send me a whatsapp message four four seven nine four nine three six zero seven four one yeah that's right i said it right let's run through this last comments here before we wrap up this one and before the missus comes home and sees me podcasting when i should be cleaning the flat <laughs> anyway uh luke good evening to you says uh, chairman Ke uh, kelvin thomas said we are extremely happy uh, with the decisions which shows very clearly that the um, appropriate uh, processes uh, were followed by the council and the club all along so Again, we welcome people in the live chat from all clubs. Now, Luke is, if memory serves me right, not as Nottingham, Nottingham FC, Nottingham FC fan. So he's just posting some content there, and we welcome it. Yeah. So Luke, good afternoon to you, fella. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, I think they said it was because of the pre-season uh, prep uh, in Germany was so successful uh, last year that they decided to do it again. <sighs> yeah, but come on, man. They could have they could have called me. They could have called me. And I would have put an 11 together. I mean, I wouldn't have played. But, you know, Canon Pro TV 11 playing against Arsenal. Got to switch it up. Anyway. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, hey, Alex, I wondered uh, that. Uh, what's that? Uh, reality show was. Well, <laughs> very, very funny. Very funny. Uh, they. When are they announcing rice? I, I have. I have no idea. We were hoping it was going to be the weekend. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's getting drawn out just a little bit now, isn't it? You're probably thinking, oh, what? what what's what's the hold up? To be honest, I'm not thinking what's to hold up. When they are ready, they will announce. I think it's going to be a double announcement, isn't it? Of a Yudim Timber and a Declan Rice. Yeah, the guy who only needs to run around, not score goals. Just run around, Rice. <laughs> oh dear. See you tomorrow again uh, for another video, mate. Uh, take care. Actually, 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 send me, send me an email. Send me an email so we can get you onto the show, and then we can prepare you. We'll prepare you, but we can get you onto the channel. We can talk about <clears throat> all the stuff before the season kicks off. Yeah, but send me an email. Have a good evening, and we'll speak to you uh, very, very soon. Uh, okay, um, I think we are finished. I think we're finished. Are we finished? Yeah, we are finished. Let me remove this. All right. Uh, so that is that I've got some homework and housework to do. I've done the garden as much as I could, but I've got to go head out into the garden again before doing some cooking and some washing. I sound like a house husband. A house husband that works, not content creator. All right, anyhow, a wonderful uh, live show here uh, with you, sharing it with me uh, on our community over here on Canon Foy TV. Oh, that rhymed, didn't it? That rhymed, oh my goodness. Thank you for joining me. Um, until then, I will be back tomorrow giving some more live news. And maybe by then we will probably have the announcement of Rice Dimba has joined Arsenal officially. Anyhow, this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>